good morning there YouTube uh, I'm gonna take this opportunity here this morning to show this uh, new tracker that I've built I actually built three of them uh, two of them are already pre-purchased there's one available I've done some more changes to the uh, the last set that I made I changed the frames up a little bit I've actually been able to get the uh, north-south axis to go almost 80 degrees, which I didn't think was possible, but uh, I did manage to do it. And something else to be aware of now with this design is this frame will tilt 80 degrees from side to side. Now, there's no reason in the world you would ever need to do that, but it does have the capability of doing it. So I'm gonna show you the improved north-south axis. Hopefully you can see this. Which would be really important for someone that they have, you know, way, way up north somewhere, Alaska maybe. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. It's almost 80 degrees up and down. And uh, obviously my surface here isn't level. And it's hard to do this with one hand. And the fact that I've just thrown this together for demonstration purposes. But the uh, frame as I said has been changed it's been made stronger I've never had a problem before but I it has made it even stronger we've also extended this uh, angle here and I've also made this motor plate uh, heavier and a bit bigger with the uh, implementation down here of another angle it would be very easy to put another uh, actuator over here you could do the dual axis instead of a single axis so pretty simply just by having like an 18 inch uh, linear actuator adjusting this which is nice for a wind speed sensor if you have one and again when I ship these out this pin will be installed or it may not be installed depending on how it fits in the box there'll be a grease fitting here and it will be all pre-greased make sure to grease this area and inside here on both sides. Obviously, this is where it's going to go up and down, so you want that to, you know, to move pretty freely. Put some grease on your bolt. This is zinc plated. This should be okay. You can put some grease over, uh, you know, penetrating oil or something on there if you like. And also on the super struts. In the past, I've recommended using the HSS, the big super struts, on these two top ones and then you're going to run two on the bottom and two more on the top to mount your solar panels. I think you should just use all of the big ones, the HSS, uh, the big super struts. But you'll have two sizes in the store. You'll have one that's about an inch and a half, the other one's about an inch, get the big one, use them on the frame and also going across. And again these are set up for six solar panels between the 250 and 300 watt range. The width is all the same on those solar panels, so the first two you put on the north and the south will ride on the frame, and the other two will go outboard. So uh, the 250s I think are like 39 by 65, and I believe the 300 watt ones are like 77 inches tall, but they're the same width, so you have to mount your pole up high enough to where you'll have your tilt axis will work properly. I always recommend that you put the pole at least six feet off the ground. I don't know, it's, it's handy for me because I get a mow a lot and I can just take my mow and go right under it. But that's about it. I really don't think I can do any more improving on this uh, model. I've done lots of thinking and I've been staring at them. And like I said, I changed the frame and I did get this to go almost 80 degrees north-south axis which is quite a lot didn't think it was possible but I did it didn't make this longer and this engine mount longer the actuator mount for me so that's uh, the new trackers as I said they are capable for a single axis and dual axis if you have the need to do that and I mentioned already I bought I built three units Two of the three are pre-sold. They're already getting ready to be shipped out, which leaves one available. So 
So if anybody has any questions, you can contact me. I'll put the uh, address down in the information settings. You can contact me via email. And uh, that's it. That's the new six panel tracker. And I think it turned out really well. I don't think I can improve on it anymore. So that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.